Jim Johnston. Yes. Okay, Jim Johnston. And Chris Van Fleet. Yeah. Yeah, segues are weird. Everything connects. Mm -hmm. uh, he went on, he was interviewed by, Jim Johnson was interviewed by Chris Van Fleet. Uh, I think it was this week or a few weeks ago. It was like a last week or, yeah. Last whatever. week. Yeah. Uh, about, obviously, Jim Johnson's time in WWE and creating mm -hmm. wrestling themes. And how perfect uh, of uh, a time to have this interview, I'd say. Because for someone who, or for the product now, the theme songs we have that are so tone deaf to the actual product. You have a guy like Jim Johnston, who I think had one of the most brilliant phrases to describe a wrestler's entrance. And is that it's a score of a movie. Mm -hmm. So when an action hero comes out and that, you know, you know, orchestra type music's playing, that film type of music's playing, you know that that like Iron Man's coming out or Spider-Man's about to swing through. Like, you know, he, when that type of music hits, yeah, that's their theme. He compared it to like Jaws. Like when you hear Jaws, the Jaws music, like, you know. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So because that, you know, Jaws. Well, when the glass shatters, you know, Stone Cold's coming out. And he said that and he made a great point. You don't know why. You don't know what is going on. Really? You may not even know what, what like the match itself, but you know that, OK, Stone Cold's coming out. That's all I need to know. Like, well, there's and, none yeah, of that, that right now. That he's coming out to kick ass and like whatever. Yeah. 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 Like you get the vibe before you even know like what's going on. <laughs> and there's none of that now. Mm -hmm. There's only like a few that when you hear, you're like, all right, game time. And I think um, I could count it on my one hand. Yeah. Most of them are not even Def Rebel. They're like older songs. You know what I mean? It's like. There are, and that's the thing, like we've said, when we talk about Def Rebel, 90% of their stuff is bad, but there is a 10% where they Dark have ones. some songs that are actually good. The problem is, I, I don't think they're ever going to get Jim Johnston back, but can you bring back CFOs? Or can CFO you at least, or bangers. even bring in like a music composer for movies? Because at least they understand the importance of what something sounds like to define a person yeah. or a scene or a vibe you know like if jim johnson isn't going to come back which doesn't see, he seems like all no, ties all are sad. severed there um then try to find not necessarily a new jim johnson but somebody who thinks along the same lines because i think just bringing in people who make music it's not the same because like a pop song on the radio is not eliciting a feeling or any necessarily no. the way that like you know a stone cold like like you know if you smell like there's certain things that like you can't just throw you know a few beats together and be like okay it's fine like that's just not it's not what it is so i saw this clip and it just like made me sad because i'm like we're so far away we from are. this right now and it bums me out man it does it does a little bit but i for some reason, I just I have a, a really good gut feeling that Def Rebel is on the outs if this outcry keeps coming up because it's it's not going away anytime soon. I'll tell you that. 